The first day of jury deliberations is over and no verdict, but two questions which give insight according to experts about what's going on in that jury room. After a full day behind closed doors, a jury weighing whether Jennifer Crumbly will be the first parent in the United States convicted in connection with her teenager carrying out a school shooting has yet to reach a decision. That story tops the news here at 10 o'clock. Good evening. I'm Kimberly Gill. And I'm Damon Fernandez. The six men and six women will be back at it in the morning. Mara McDonald is live at the courthouse tonight. Mara, experts tell you the questions the jurors have been asking so far are rather telling. They are, Demond, and it's interesting to note. So the first thing that the jury did is they came back and they asked the judge, essentially, what is it going to take for us to convict Jennifer Crumbly? Do we need to agree to both of the prosecution's theories in this case, meaning that she's guilty of gross negligence and she's guilty of failing to act and meet a legal standard? And the judge told them, no, you can find her guilty on either one of these theories and you all don't have to agree on which one it is. We asked Bill Barnwell if he was sitting in the chair defending Crumbly what it would tell him about where the jury is. So it very well could just be that the jurors are trying to figure out what are we supposed to decide? What is the basis of our decision? You might have certain jurors in there that are leaning one way or the other, maybe based on one theory or the other, or you might have a jury that eventually is going to come back with an acquittal. The second question they asked is whether jurors could infer anything from the shooter not testifying. The answer from the judge, a resounding no. They can only consider evidence which was presented. In her closing remarks, Crumbly's attorney tried to portray her as every mom and that any one of them could be in her shoes, going so far as telling the jury her own son could walk out of their house with a knife and kill someone, and she'd have no idea it was coming. That's been a central tenet in this trial. Prosecutors say Jennifer Crumbly was grossly negligent in allowing her son access to a gun and failing to take the most basic steps to help him because it was clear he was struggling. The defense, meanwhile, says she had no idea how bad off her son was and had no way of knowing it either. Crumbly has taken no responsibility for her son's actions or her parenting. But if this was a slam dunk case for them to convict, they would have done it by now. If it was a slam dunk case for them to quit, they would have done it. But I still think that the defendant has a good chance of being acquitted. Back here alive, why does he think that the defendant has a good chance of being acquitted? It's simple. Nothing like this has ever been tried before. And the hill that the prosecutors have to climb here, it's pretty high. You know, Karen McDonald made it clear in her closing arguments to the jury, going slide after slide, they believe they've met that burden of proof that they need to meet. Whether the jury agrees with it, I guess we'll see what happens in day two coming up tomorrow. We're live in Pontiac tonight at the Oakland County Courthouse. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. And we will be following it closely. Mara, thank you. We'll continue to have that special coverage of the trial, including reaction to the verdict as soon as it comes down. It'll be right here on Local 4 Plus and click on Detroit.com. Jury deliberations, as Mara said, continue tomorrow.